welcome back to UC Star Astrologies. I'm your astrologer, Cindy. This is Astrology Forecast for Sagittarius, August 2016, and that applies to your Sun, Ascendant, and your Moon sign. And if you don't know what these are, then contact me, and I will give you this information for free. Okay, so let's start. On the 2nd of August, we have Mars entering Sagittarius. This is your first house. So, Saturn here has been going a little, it has been going retrograde, making you think really about who you are and, and your appearance, making you work really hard on how you look. So, like for instance, if you're having difficulty in um, just, um, I don't think it's much about having difficulties, but Saturn has a lot to do also with steel. Um, it's probably making people want to, you know, work really hard on, on their body, like um, working out, pumping, pumping up, you know, their muscles. Uh, Saturn in the first house makes a person work really hard for their education and Sagittarius has to do with higher education so it's working actually for you sitting in this house it's not the same kind of energy when it in, in other constellations every constellation has different energy but Saturn actually is pretty good here if you have any blockages that has to do with philosophy higher education um, traveling i don't know who would have problems traveling but there are people who 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 do have some kind of phobias and i know a couple of them and this is if there, if you have any blockages of who you are then they're going to come up and and mars here um tends to help you to push and move things forward, okay? Mars is also um, the planet that has to do with working out and gaining muscle. So this is a really good energy, but be careful that you are not in conflict with higher authority officials or, um, or with professors, your teachers, your gurus, okay? Even your father, you could come into conflict here. On the 2nd of August, it's a new moon in Leo. This is, okay, your ninth house. Again, it has to do with higher education. So either you could be starting a new course or you are traveling for vacation. Okay, it's a new opportunity to have fun because Leo is entertainment. Um, yes, it's it's wonderful energy. You could be meeting someone new um, while you are traveling in another city. You know, fall in love with someone if you are single, okay? All right, on the 5th of August, we also have Venus entering Virgo in your 10th house. So... This is, this is really good for um, your career and um, you could, you are really, uh, it's really shedding harmonious energy towards your bosses or even government officials and um, especially at the workplace because Virgo has to do with the workplace and and so your career is just a great time to ask for a raise or to try to get a higher position at work okay and then we have on the 10th of August Mercury training Pluto this is um, this is also very good in earning money okay the second house where Pluto is um, has to do with earning money, perhaps money um, under the table, you know, black money, or um, secrets could be coming up from the workplace, okay? Or there could be some kind of sexual <clears throat> harassment happening here at the workplace as well, 
Okay, or <clears throat> it depends on how you see it, whether it is harassment or not, or just flirtations. <clears throat> flirtations if you think the person is hot. <laughs> harassment when the person is not. <laughs> on the 12th of August, we have Jupiter opposing Chiron, okay? This is a spiritual stretcher. Be careful, something... Um, could be happening here during your daily activities at the workplace or even home or it could be this feeling tug feeling that you have to be at the career but then you have to be with the family as well and you cannot be in two places at once on the 13th of august saturn goes direct yay so more power to you saggies out there with saturn here it's actually working for your highest good. On the 17th of August, Venus is trying Pluto. Um, this is for, this is really good um, energy uh, to, for your workplace, perhaps um, going out and having fun. Um, it's, it's, it could, it could be a, a, a romance happening here as well, but um, it has also not not going out and having fun. It has it has to do with either love, romance, or money making. Okay, um, how you're making money, perhaps under the table or something of that sort. Mercury is sitting here. And it's in shadow. Be careful. Don't enter any any kind of contracts from the middle of the month. Um, um, all the way to the 30th of, of August is when Mercury goes retro. And you're already feeling this um, shadow period. And um, already in the middle of the month. Be careful on how you are of what you are saying, that not too many secrets are coming up about who you are, you know, things that are not needed to talk about, bad sex jokes of, of that nature will be a major fail, okay? Okay, so um, then we have a lunar eclipse on the 18th of August, and this could be a new friend coming into your life, okay? Um, either a new neighbor that becomes a very, very good friend or a neighbor must move. Something big, uh, there's a big change. This lunar eclipse with the full moon, that is like the full moon on steroids. <laughs> so it's going to be very amplified whatever happens on the 18th that in regards to your friendship circles within the neighborhood or Something that has to do with contracts as well, um, but be careful with your communication here with the friends. Could also be that a friendship is coming to an end with this dark energy from Mercury. And also, uh, Sun enters Virgo. So now, be very careful with your communication with the boss. In the beginning of the month, it was it was super duper duper good, and now you're maybe in la la land. You know, very happy about your energy with the boss, and it get and and then all of a sudden, erk, boom! You hit this wall, and you think, but I thought he. I thought that he liked me and liked my work and liked my project and so, and now your communication with the boss is at, it's just could be really, really bad, okay? Um, here when, when Sen enters Virgo, um, because it's, it's, it's next to this Mercury, the shadow Mercury, so please be careful. We have Mercury going retro on the 30th of August, okay? You don't want to get your boss mad, <laughs> all right? Then we have Venus flying into Libra in your 11th house of hopes, dreams, and wishes, and money-making 
on the 29th of August. So at least that is happening. That's some good news, but just keep away from the boss and <laughs> the bosses might be, you know, exploding in the most outrageous way with this North Node and Mercury and Jupiter all sitting together. And you're thinking, what? <laughs> WTF, what's this all about? <laughs> that kind of an energy. Okay, so that was the astrology for Sagittarius, August 2016. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want a personal astrology with me, then just contact me. Okay, down below, I'll give the link or to my email address. I will write it. Okay, so until then, hope to hear from you soon. Goodbye.